everybody, it is Cool Guy RPG 97 here. This cam is up, you know what that means. Everybody, welcome back to another top 10. Today is going to be the top 10 roller coasters, Six Flags Magic Mountain, otherwise known as my homeland. I love that place. I live in uh, like an hour away from it. Um, go there a very other is often. Love it there. Um, so I have some of the best. Well, oh crap, my audio off with my voice with talking all right so i'm going to be counting down the top 10 roller coasters at that because that park produces some of the best roller coasters in the entire world so let's find out what the best they are all right picking off this list at number 10 we have a classic dnm invert have batman the ride also may argue about be having this right on the list i mean i know it's just another clone I like this because, because I think it has the best thing. Like you're going through like one of the alleyways. It starts out with you and the queue going through one of the alleyways of Gotham, and then the color scheme, um, blue and black. I think it's really cool. Kind of like white, white and really pops. And um, it's a really cool ride. Um, I mean, it, it is a clone, but uh, I just think it's great. Uh, they are very intense, the Batman clones. At number nine, we have Viper, the aerodynamics course, aerodynamic screw coaster. Uh, I think this is the best corkscrew coaster that aerodynamics has created. I mean, some people argue that some of the corkscrew coasters are kind of rough. This one is slightly kind of rough. I mean, I, you have to admit it. But I mean, especially when you go through that weird, those weird looping section. But I didn't find uh, as much head banging at on this roller coaster as some of the other. A Demon at California's Great America, I thought that was okay, but it had a lot more headbanging. I just found this one to be pretty kind of smooth. I mean, it's not glossy smooth. I mean, of course, you're going to rattle up like in this section right here, but it's, it's a good ride. At number eight, we have Revolution. This is the world's first looping coaster. This is highly considered the world's first thrill ride, so Thank the Revolution. It's a it's a fun little ride. Um, not that tall, but it's got a good drop. It reaches a max speed of around 60 miles per hour. They just redid it. They gave it a new paint job, made it a little smoother, and they added a VR headset, which makes it the first virtual reality coaster in North America. So it breaks another world record right there. It's, it's a fun coaster. I have an awesome POV of, of this coaster on my phone. Um, it was really cool. Um. It wasn't that hard to hold on to it, actually. But it's a good, fun little coaster. Especially for pe for little thrill extremists who want to get to roller coasters. Like, they haven't ridden some of the free coasters. And this is a great place to do it. Like you ride to Revolution, and then you're a convenient place, Six Flags Magic Mountain. You can ride up other big car rides. And then, boom, you're into roller coasters. Number seven is the Riddler's Revenge. The best, and apparently the only good stand-up coaster the entire world. I've heard every single stand-up coaster right now. That's kind of true. Um, it's a fun ride, actually. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Um, got 11 versions. And yeah, this is an awesome stand-up coaster. It's really fun. It's great, actually. It's really good. I really like it. Number six, we have Scream, the B&M Flawless Coaster. Which is pretty cool. It's a clone of Bizarro at Six Flags Great Adventure. People say that Bizarro is a little better because of the theming. But if you look past the theming on Bizarro and you just put on the roller coaster, it's a good roller coaster. And that would make Scream a good coaster. And it is a good coaster. Um, I find it super enjoyable. I love the inversions. The sound it makes is really cool when you go on it. And uh, the Cobra Roll is fun. Um, it's a little head bangy. That's why some people don't like it, but, um, well, they don't, well, you either, you either like it a little, or you love it. I love it. So, that helix feels like your, your feet up, you're gonna, you're gonna, they're gonna fly off because they're gonna hit the tracks. Awesome ride. Alrighty, Dicey, we are in the top five. Number five is the Mighty Full Throttle at six, that's, well, it's, this is fully based on this Magic Mountain. I'm just saying where it is. Anyway, this is highly based, one of the best premiere rides in the world. Um, 
because some say that even it's Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast, and I have to agree. I love Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast, but I just think this is better. Um, he launches one going forward through the loop, one going backward on top of, not on top, but into the corkscrew, oh, corkscrew slash dive loop, launching again onto a top hat. It's kind of short, that's what people are kind of upset about, but looking past that, people love this ride. I don't care how short it is, I mean, they kind of do, but, but they really don't care about that. Like me, I just love it. At number four, we have the amazing Katsu. This is the best flying coaster in the world, as everybody says. Best flying coaster by BNM. It's great. I love it. Too. It was my favorite roller coaster when I first wrote it, I and mean, then I wrote some other stuff. I kind of beat it and it put it at number six on my top ten roller coaster. 20 roller coasters I've ridden, but it's still high on the list, because I loved it, it totally blew me away, that huge pretzel loop it does is awesome, but it's just, it's so good, number three is Goliath, as you know who have watched my channel for a little while, you will know this is my absolute favorite roller coaster, I love this coaster, you got an awesome drop, awesome helix, you got a second drop at 200 feet, um, First one is at 255 feet. The other one is at 200 feet exactly. So put that two up to 200 feet. It's awesome. Floater air, some two floater airtime hills. That's awesome. It does a little quick stop. Does a little quick stop. Then you go into a slow overbed turn. It's so intense. And you fly into the helix, which people have been known to black out on. I almost did once. It's awesome. Number two is the king of RMC hybrid coasters, otherwise known as Twisted Colossus. I love this roller coaster. This was the first roller coaster I ever rode at Six Flags Magic Mountain, so it's a little special to me. Um, it goes through um, it goes through the highest uh, high five on an RMC coaster, actually on any roller coaster, over 18 airtime hills. And then it goes through a corkscrew. Um, then on the green track, you go through a zero G roll as well. And you go to some overbank turns at the end, and it's just an amazing ride. You probably all already know what number one is because there's this, there is always that one ride everybody talks about. Number one is the awesome, the mighty, the intense X2. This roller coaster has to be the most. It's the Definition of insanity. It's the most intense roller coaster I've ever ridden. It's so much fun. The cars flip constantly. It's so insane. You're flying through some overbank turns. You're flying through inversions. You're going down a 90 degree drop. Oh my god. It's awesome. I literally came off speechless. All that could come out of my mouth was these. Oh my god, what did I just ride? It's insane, awesome, we love it. We love X2. That does it for this roller coaster video. I will see you all in the next countdown. Peace out.